Well, like my colleagues Calvin Fish and Dorsey Schrader, I've been to a lot of endurance races in my career, but I cannot recall one like the one we witnessed here at Sebring in the 61st running of the Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring. Five classes of cars, five great battles all the way to the finish, Calvin. There were some great battles in the P1 class. That was Audi on the top of the heat. They took their 11th overall win here, and it's really just a great test for Le Mans that comes up a little bit later this summer. They really had a great battle between the two sister cars. They had pretty faultless runs, really. A little bit of an issue with the under tray on the number one car that did take victory here today. Tom Christensen, so close to his seventh victory. Very emotional week for Tom. His dad passed away just over a week ago. He loved to have got that victory for his father, Carl Eric. It wasn't to be, and the other team came out on top. Perhaps the best racing of the day was the GT category, Dorsey. Fantastic race. It was a war there, no doubt about it. You had Corvette there. You had Chrysler there with the Dodge. You had BMW, Porsche, and Ferrari. All of them at one point or another led this race, and they came right down to the wire. It was Team Corvette that pulled it off. Tommy Milner getting around the Ricci Competition for Ferrari. It was a great race right down to the end. I'm going to go out on a limb and predict it will be a Corvette versus Ferrari war at this year's 24 Hours of Le Mans. The final ALMS running of the 12 Hours of Sebring was spectacular. We hope you enjoyed it on speed.